have oof, 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 we have probably one of my favorite sneakers just as we end the year actually because you know it's my favorite model in general and i actually love what kiff doing i think you know they probably get a bit of an unfair reputation and i think maybe it has a lot to do with maybe because he doesn't even talk that much ronnie fake but i guess because of how he goes on he sort of probably there's maybe something about ronnie fake that makes people re he kind of maybe reminds people of because ronnie F yeah ronnie fake looks like he would sound or kind of act the way that Joe LaPuma acts. You know, from com from complex sneaker shopping. Uh, Joe LaPuma has that corny, sort of like, you know, sneaker heady, up his own ass, gets everything for free, kind of like schmarmy thing about him, right? That no one really kind of vibes with what well, I don't, you know, the fucking thing with the hands, the stupid outfits that he wears, like, you know, monochrome, everything, and some loud trainers, unlaced, like, yeah, whatever, we don't care. Um, always kind of recounting stories of old times and when he used to get stuff for free like you know we don't really give a shit right everything in your wardrobe is tier zero it doesn't matter but regardless but Roddy fake seems to be like a real fan of the shit right he seems to really love streetwear he seems to really love sneakers he seems to take a lot of joy out of collaborations he goes you know when he collabs so again maybe the collabs are a bit over the top right coca-cola this and that i think he doesn't say no to a collab it seems like but i do like that he's been given the ability to do stuff with a6 new balance nike right he doesn't necessarily have an exclusivity deal which kind of i love it sort of reminds me of my idol and somebody i look up to in terms of hiroshi fujiwara and how he approaches stuff right that kind of old school um, I would say the kind of the archetype of what an influencer should be, right? You're kind of objective and you just, you know, you're after great things that kind of fit your lifestyle and things that you sort of want, you love and you want to promote. And it's not necessarily about who offers you the bag, right? It's about stuff that you actually like and enjoy and you want to just spread the love and you want to kind of just amplify that message and i think roddy fake does that as well with his collaboration especially the bmw stuff again it was naff it was pretty stupid i thought i think wearing bmw merch when you can't drive or you don't own a bmw is ridiculous beyond belief but i do understand that these brands in some sectors have kind of eclipsed the automotive sector and of course turn into lifestyle brands that people are kind of adopting in normal life but i do think you know wearing a supreme lamborghini top and you don't own one is insane maybe Lamborghini makes more sense because it's, it's so far out of peop most people's um, buying a bracket, whatever, that it makes more sense. It's sort of like an aspirational thing. Um, but I still think, you know, I would never wear a Rolex hoodie, right? Just not going to happen. Why would I wear that? It makes no sense. Um, so maybe the collaborations are a little bit excessive, but I still think each one, you can definitely see an appreciation and a love for the products that he's basically interacting with and a brand he's working with too. Which brings us nicely onto the latest one, which is Kif Nike Air Force One New York, right? Um, easily one of my favorite sneakers to come out of the year. Um, not too loud, not too crazy, but just expertly done and a pers a perfect representation of why Air Force Ones are one of my quintessential favorites. Um, you know, in London, of course, Air Force Ones are you know maybe one of the most popular shoes being worn. I remember there was a report made about house bur burglaries or something along those kind of lines in inner city areas and the trademarks left in gardens and places and most of the shoes that were being used were like air force ones air max 95s um yeah, I, think, I forgot the other one something else right but air force ones are very popular here especially worn with like tech track suits and shit people love them but i just love the fact that in terms of paneling there's just no way that you can fuck up the colorway that's what i love about air force ones right you've got the, the of course the forefoot the mid and the back area like the blockage is really well laid out um in terms of colorways and of course the swoosh and the change you can do to the sole but it's just impossible to get a colorway wrong on air force one of course some of the other things that they do later on where they sort of you know uh winterize it they add these little bells and whistles onto it but if you just kind of a you know take the actual silhouette itself and just try and amplify it that you know you come up with these incredible iterations like they've done here um with kiff where they've got this luxurious translucent sole um they've got these sort of uh patent-esque swoosh on the side that sort of disappear um and fade out into white as they hit back into the um heel tab and then they've got the nyc logo embedded on the heel which is great and it reminds me that i think there was a pair of apples from mids that i had prior that i used to get a foot locker they used to do that quite often they just sell mids and um, low tops with the nyc puerto rican flag mexican flag whatever random ones but they've stopped that so much so which is annoying there was there used to be a really good market for gr air force ones even gd sports you do used to do a pretty decent pairs but now the you know the ones that they make and sell in those shops are usually very poor quality but um so you have to wait you know or maybe get a pair from like you know 
Japan where they sort of do really great colorways in Air Force Ones but I think this is easily one of the best to come out in a very long time and the fact that they've got contrasting swoosh on either side you've got red and a blue there on either side you've got the tone or tongue which I love too that detail on collaborations which they don't normally happen but I think nowadays I'm not sure why I think the sneaker brands have finally accepted that these collaborations do a lot more for them than they would than they probably do on their own so they do allow them a bit more customization options i don't like the fact that they didn't lace them properly that's always a bugbear with me you can't have a product shot and not lace shoes like even working in retail right you'd get absolutely ripped to pieces if you put a shoe out on display that looked like this like you just had to relace it it's just a part of the parts of the job um you know it just the fact that they look good sans the lacing kind of helps but it would be a lot you know the, the the actual effect of the shoe can kind of be heightened by how you style it and as i show you in the shoot later with dipset you would definitely see that but again i love the fact that they give them the option to kind of customize the tongue um of course kind of give, give them a stamp there going forward um the lever looks somewhat tumbled so it's definitely a nice um quality lever i love that the seams have been sealed or kind of you know tucked in which kind of again lends itself to usually the more premium level of air force ones and just in general the icy clear sole the bottom just absolutely beautiful man easily one of my favorite shoes this year to come out again that's even said of all the other bells whistle shoes that have come out because again you know air force ones are probably my top five shoes in terms of air force one jordan fours uh mx 90s top three yeah i think it's top three shoes overall obviously dr martin's and what else do I wear day to day? And maybe let's say uh, Vans old school, right? Those are the things I probably would wear day to day in terms of whatever. But in terms of top three Nike shoes, for sure, Air Force One, MX-1995 are definitely um, within my top three there. But yeah, this is an article to the following. Um, though Kiff's retail and brand empire has uh, touched down in cities as diverse as Tokyo and Los Angeles, its roots are deepest in New York City. And Nifos that is, that is uh, fully on display in the brand's unveiling of their co-created Nike um, and SYC the, the, and New York Knicks collaboration. Okay, it's New York Knicks collaboration. Okay, makes sense. That's why the colorways there. And the standout pieces collection and off-teased centric New York One Air Force One low. Previewed through 2020, the shoe is set to release before the year draws a close ahead of its official arrival detail images enable a deep dive into the dashing design officially dubbed the white rush white rush blue brilliant orange okay it's orange or red sorry um this air force one up is composed of crisp white leather and boasts an og style shape with thick heel padding um signature details are served up by an orange lateral swooshes and bright blue medial swooshes a power from their alternating color these uh brand hits are made of glossy plastic material and face slightly towards the hill Nike Sportswear is familiar with the NYC swoosh graphic is present and accounted for on each lateral hill and a trifecta of the of the Kif branded hits uh, rounds off at the top half the hybrid Kif Air establishment embroidered on the orange on the hill oh is it Kif Air I didn't see that has it got that Kif on the hill where did I see that oh okay so obviously oh wow I didn't see that that's great little detail isn't it lovely look at that they really gave them every sort of uh, license to make this look great so the um, nike air force one kif are coming out on december 18th uh 130 dollars and of course to make them even more appealing they decided to do a shoot with legendary new york city rap group dipset one of my favorite groups of all time um containing two of my favorite mcs of all time in jim jones and cameron and um yeah man it just looks even better it just looks even bloody better the tracksuit that cam's got on is flipping great um trap favorite is, is the one jim's got on i love too i'm not really in love with the navy that joe santana has on but it's just good to see him in general looking healthy but just look how great these shoes look when they've been actually you know f kind of swagged out let's say with an outfit and again they haven't relaced the shoes which again is a pet peeve but maybe it's just me that does that no one else does this do they where they really say shoes to make them sure it's over under and it's not laced the way they are but ugh, how good does this stuff look man like again it's a bit it's a bit um it's a bit geeshy right it's a little bit too out there maybe the over branding but phew, i love it i think cameron's got two a kiff beanie on as well maybe it's part of the collaboration I'm not liking the fact that he's got that. It looks like he's got a bit of a, he's got a bit of, what's that thing? That hair dye thing on his beard, isn't it? The beard looks a little bit artificial, but you know, 
Cam's my guy, so I'll let him off on that one. But just look how good these look on feet. And you can tell that they've got great leather and they've kind of messed around maybe with the tooling because usually on the shitter quality um, Air Force Ones, whenever your foot goes in on them, and again, I've got a fat foot, so I know usually you're kind of the outside of your foot sort of bleeds or you know leans out onto the side i don't know why usually I don't know what it sort of crumbles on that side but the better quality ones usually have a little bit more structure and sturdiness in them in the middle it might be because of the actual quality of the leather but regardless you can definitely tell there's a less warping here i think normal pairs when you see them there's more warping on the swoosh just because the leather's a bit shit continue here you've got of course them in the center of the knicks stadium flossing again they look really good here they look even better there with Jewel stunning in them. Of course, Jim Mix. This tracks is probably one of my favorites. Maybe more so than the one that Cam's wearing. This looks incredible. So Kif, so Kif, Nike, and um, New York Knicks. And it's got the swoosh that kind of contrasts right across there. And then you've got Jim, of course, wearing them, making it look bad. They look so good, man. Oh, God. And of course, the hat is probably part of it as well. It just looks amazing. So I'm such a big fan of it, man. The whole collection looks absolutely banging. Um, what it says here, that's meant to come out as well on December 18th too. So definitely check out for those coming out very, very soon. But definitely one of my more favorite collabs that I've seen thus far.